The day we had been waiting for has arrived, the Cybertruck delivery event. This was it, a pivotal moment in time where everything could change. Like in the past with luxury sedans, roadsters, then cars, SUVs, and semis, Tesla could push the pickup world toward change, whether it embraced it or not. As Elon Musk himself once put it, The point of doing this is to just give a hardcore smackdown to gasoline cars. But then Tesla dropped the ball hard. You love trucks, all trucks. You haul and tow, snow wheel and off-road, take the kiddies to softball practice, and your sweetie to lover's lookout. Mm. This channel is all about how the truck is changing, but not the lifestyle. We're loaded up, kitted out, and ready to roam. That's a fact. But are we ready for the future? Welcome to Trucked Up EVs. Let's be honest, if it wasn't for Tesla, no manufacturer would have bothered with EVs. The only reason anything happened was the growing risk that consumers would leave legacy automakers behind. When Tesla came to the scene, it rocked the industry and every auto manufacturer has been scrambling ever since to catch up. And hate to say it, but they're failing at it. There's just too much short-term profit in doing nothing and too many billions to lose in transforming their factories to EVs as we're seeing all over the place. The only place we're really seeing EVs being embraced is where they don't have to rebuild that infrastructure such as China with a lot of these new startups in the hundreds. However, the big legacy players like Toyota, Honda, and the big three have tried every trick in the book to slow down the EV revolution by exploiting fear, uncertainty, and doubt. And although it's done a stellar job of scaring the crap out of potential EV buyers and ebbing acceleration, the numbers don't lie. Global EV sales are rapidly on the rise. What did Tesla do throughout that time as the industry itself fought the EV wave? It stepped on the gas until now. Cybertruck has instead helped legacy automakers hit the brakes. And at the end of this video, I'll back that up with the most important information of all. Tesla clearly knew what the market wanted when they launched the concept in 2019. It had done significant research to reinvent the truck and go after the king of the hill, Ford. That was clear even in Cybertruck's slogan. Remember it? Better utility than a truck with more performance than a sports car. Listen to that again. Tesla didn't mention an EV truck. It claimed this thing was better than any pickup truck. The reveal event declared war against the big three, flashing images of traditional truck design on the screen and then mocking it. I mean, for good reason, it hadn't changed in, oh, I don't know, a century. To rub salt in the wound, big screen video played behind Elon Musk, filming the Cybertruck dragging a failing new F-150 uphill in a tug of war. The crowd laughed. Tesla then went after the key metrics that every truck owner looks for before making any kind of purchase decision. Towing, hauling, truck functionality, range, and as important for many, price. The numbers were beyond impressive in 2019. Tesla had thrown down the gauntlet. In response, big truck manufacturers went into overdrive to protect their hallowed turf. This electric outsider was coming after their big profits. And if it meant losing a whack of money short term, hey, it was better to take the hit now. This was do or die. And to their credit, truck makers pulled up their bootstraps. A more than capable F-150 Lightning hit the streets fast, beating Tesla to the punch. It was a pretty impressive machine. Where it lacked in long hauling and towing range, it made up for in awesome functionality and specs. In fact, it could do a lot of things better than its own gas version, including power, torque, storage space, and, and powering your own house for crying out loud. The race was officially on, and that was good news for you and I, for any truck buyer. But then the big three were handed a gift they could have only dreamed of at the delivery event that all of us have just seen that has absolutely broken the internet. Cybertruck failed to deliver on any of it. <laughs> I can hear the moans and I'm gonna see a lot of hater comments now, but those are the facts. Sure, it revolutionized many aspects of production, tech, manufacturing, brilliance, great. But bulletproof door panels, drive-by wire, 48 volt architecture and four wheel steering are all awesome and they will more appeal to buyers in LA who will never leave the pavement or, or do any real truck things with it. Maybe those off-road adventure types are gonna really grab onto this. Sandy Monroe's talked about it, using it as his hunting truck, a market that Rivian, Jeep, and Ford's Bronco carved out a niche in. But the very numbers 
that Tesla acknowledged that night, November 2019, as being the most important to the audience they were trying to influence were all missing. Wasn't this supposed to be the truck smackdown? Hadn't Tesla stated that it was better than any pickup truck out there? The very essence of what is needed to work as a superior truck on the ground, doing all the chores a gas or diesel truck is expected to do, has been dropped. Ford must have got wind of the specs, along with GM, because both scaled back their losing EV output plans almost immediately. This was what they had been praying for, an impressive truck, but with limited application and average specs, and nowhere near the capacity to go head to head with their traditional light and mid duty pickups. This gave them piles of time. We needed Tesla to lead and take that tool away from Legacy Auto. We needed Cybertruck to put the screws to the status quo and in turn revolutionize the truck. It's the only way to get traditional gas and diesel truck owners to trust these things and to give electric a good hard second look. So. Why would they look now? Here it is, plain and simple. There's nothing to catch up to. The F-150 Lightning is already comparable in range. The Silverado EV beats it. And Ram's hybrid, pretending not to be a hybrid, REV, puts Cybertruck's numbers to shame. They do it with gas, but at a promised original 500 plus miles standard in the tri-motor, long before offering any kind of bed filling extender behemoth thrown in as an afterthought for a whopping $16,000, it was close to matching the old gasoline guard. That's what we needed. Moreover, it could tow and haul huge numbers for relatively good distances. That's all gone. Not a single item from a truck functionality perspective survived the four year wait. Not range, towing, hauling, functionality, or most certainly not price. All dumped in favor of moving a lot of side Cybertruck cars, which is what Elon Musk called them multiple times in the presentation. Go back and take a watch. Don't get me wrong. Tesla will sell a sick, stupid number of these things, but not to traditional truck owners. Cybertruck is Elon's pet project, but it is not a truck guy's workhorse. He just gave a tip of the hat to the entire truck industry to do nothing new for at least a couple of years because, well, the messaging is clear. If Tesla can't currently make a long range capable towing and hauling truck leader to unseat Ford's hold on the traditional truck market, then no one can. This will set back, not accelerate EV truck adoption until a new, truly superior truck product makes its way to the competitive field. Let's just hope it still does. If you would like to get more in-depth details on the 10 promises Elon Musk failed to deliver on the Cybertruck, click the link above. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below and please don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. Give a ring on the bell notification icon to get first dibs on my newest video. Thank you again for watching. We'll see you next time.